I'm Allie from Bridal Shoes TV and I'm here with Leanne Marshall. You're very well known for winning Project Runway, but now you're focusing on bridal. And today we're talking about bridal shoes. So when selecting a bridal shoe, if one is comfort and ten is fashion, where do you fall in that spectrum? I would say it's your special day. Go for a ten. You want to look amazing. You're going to be in the dress for just a handful of hours. Do it up. Out. Go all out. Absolutely. Some brides do get painful in their shoes at the wedding and they want to take their shoes off. What do you think about that? I think it's great to have a backup option of a flat in case you want to change for the reception and you want to dance a little bit more. Mm -hmm. um, you know, a lot of brides take off their shoes and go barefoot and it's, you know, their dress is then dragging on the ground, which is not a great look, but, right. um, you know, you I think it's... risk damaging your dress. Exactly, exactly. So, you know, maybe keep like a wedge option as a backup. It's something that's really comfortable that's still going to give you the lift off the ground. A lot of brides say, nobody will see my shoes. What do you think about that? They couldn't be more wrong. Um, you know, when lifting up the dress for the garter belt, they're going to see it. All of your bridesmaids are going to ask what your shoes look like. Everybody's going to see your shoes, and it's a big trend for wedding photographers to take pictures, you know, ahead of time of the shoes, the bouquet, the little elements. So everything really adds up and makes a, a total picture. A lot of brides are wearing cowboy boots, sneakers. Are there shoes that are too casual to go with a wedding gown? Yes, yes. I had a friend recently, a good friend that I did a custom dress for. It was something similar to this. She's a very casual girl, and she was dead set on wearing converse sneakers with her dress but um, luckily with some pressure from her mom and friends <laughs> she got talked into a really nice beautiful ballet flat. In the past season has dictated which shoes are in style, which shoes are available, closed toe for winter, open toe for summer. Do you think that's still relevant? Uh, not at all. I think there are so many destination weddings that you should really go more based on the setting of your wedding and the climate and go from there. I think kind of wedding dresses alone are seasonless, so why not the shoes? Wedges are becoming more popular for brides. What are your thoughts on wedges? I think wedges are a terrific option because a lot of outdoor weddings don't match up well when you're walking in grass and you're wearing a stiletto, you're going to get stuck in the mud. So I actually recommend a lot of wedges for my brides. With a short dress, the shoes are going to be on display the whole time. So what do you recommend to go with a short dress? I have a lot of of private clients and brides who like to do something a little bit funkier and I love that idea. Um, we've had a bride do a dress you know like this or like that with a, a cherry red Christian Louboutin and um, one with like blue sequin shoes and I think it's a great look to do something a little bit more eclectic like that. So it's that. okay to go all out and have fun? Go all out and have fun and show your personality in your shoes. What if a bride wanted to wear a metallic shoe or any shoe really that had a detail like this on the front? I would highly advise against wearing a shoe with this kind of rhinestone embellishment with a dress that's out of any kind of chiffon or delicate that material. Is so delicate. Because it like. you will trip, it will be such a disaster because this material loves to grab onto anything with an edge. And these shoes just have edges galore on so them. So it's not worth the risk. Not worth the risk at all. Here has kind of a vintage detail on the front. A shoe like this is a perfect complement. You know, it ties in a lot of the hand cut embellishments on the top of the gown. Um, beautiful, light, floaty. It, it fits the feeling of the dress. And this shoe here has a ruffled detail that kind of reflects some of the details on the chest. Absolute, absolutely. They look like they were designed, you know, with each other in mind. Mm -hmm. So it would be a perfect pairing. So it's okay to look to the dress for some details? Too. Absolutely, absolutely. There is that bride that wants something that just feels like it flows together and isn't looking for something to contrast and look like it's from a different realm or area. Right. This one here has beautiful lace and it kind of has two tones to it. It's got the ivory and then a darker mm -hmm. ivory. Yeah. What are your thoughts on this platform pink toe with the pleats? Um, something like that would be really cute because it has that retro feel. You know, it's really got this this kind of 50s silhouette to it. And this shoe certainly sit, sits well with that as well, kind of 50s, 60s in there. Here we have a lace shoe. Now there's lace on the dress. Is this compete too much? There's lace on the dress, which has a, a distinct look. So it's going to be really difficult unless you were to actually use the same exact lace from the dress. I would advise against it because it's just too much of a, co a confliction and competing right. of interest. And here we have a very feminine shoe with a bow on the front. 
I love the look of these together. You know, they're very soft, romantic, innocent looking, and they suit each other nicely. Here we've got another beautiful short dress. This one definitely has a different look, though. Yes, this one's more sophisticated and elegant. So, you know, it's it's a little bit more subtle and um, just kind of refined looking. Mm -hmm. So something Here with we have a little bit. Here we brooch detail on the front with some bling on it. Yeah, adding a little bit of shine and bling to the shoe on this dress is a great compliment. What about a shoe that's just totally plain? Um, it's great. It's a great understated look to pair, you know, a dress like this and that together. A great option for this would be to, you know, maybe dye it in a red or to dye it in a right, pink. So add a pop of color. Add a pop of color. Outfit. Yeah. And again, here we've got that platform with the pleated detail, which kind of mimics some of the. Yeah, we've the got dress. the pleating, the hand pleating in this dress, and it complements that dress very nicely with the detail in the shoe. Thank you so much for talking with us sure. today about bridal shoes. Sure, no problem. I'm Allie with Bridal Shoes TV. For more videos about bridal shoes, visit bridalshoes.tv.